Hi there, once again, welcome to Agiotech. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to build or how to create a monthly income and expenditure tracker using Excel. So we're going to build something like this. We're going to have our income, our income for the months, and we're also going to have our expenditure. So for instance, when we want to update this, let's say we have some additional expenses, expenditures within the month, and let's say, for instance, we have some gym lesson and then I just put in my gym lesson. Let's say we spend 150 a month and I just hit enter. It's going to update the expenditure and then also update our balance. Okay. So we're going to have the expenses for the month and then also the, we're going to have the expenditure and then we're going to have the income as well. So our balance is going to be the total income minus what our expenditure. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you are new. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. So we're going to learn how to create this in a bit. So this is going to be an amazing way in which as an individual, you need to have something like this to be able to track your expenses and your income in the month. So let's do this. So remember to stay tuned to the end of this video and watch how we're going to create this. So this is my entire workbook and then I'm going to open a new worksheets over here so this is what we are going to use so this is what we let's say this is our, our blueprint this is our blueprint and we're going to follow this and tart in and create something like so i did this initially and then i just wanted to see the finished product before we start so let's jump right into action i'm going to go to my new worksheet and then i'm going to select the entire workbook for instance the worksheet i'm going to select the entire cells as you can see, we have some small triangle over here, which give you the option to select the entire worksheet. So I just want to increase the cell space, okay? So I'll open this up and then I'm also going to, let me also increase the size of my cells, okay? The, I'm going to expand the column as well, as well as what? The, the roof, let me close the roof a bit and then I think this is okay. So we're going to, at least merge from here. We want to give the title. So we're going to use the merge keyword. We're going to merge. So we're going to go to the home. We have the home tab at the alignment. We're going to use the merge center and then we're going to merge the top over there. So as you can see, we've given a title to this particular document. We say monthly income and expenditure tracker. So let's actually do that over here. So I'm just going to type, I'm going to type everything in caps monthly income and expenditure expenditure tracker so this is going to be our name and let's select the entire so remember we've made this so let's select it and then within the same alignment we're going to use the center aligned and the bottom aligned at the same time for this so that we have our text neatly aligned to the center we're going to increase the font to somewhere around I think 22 is okay and let's bold in this and then we're going to give a very ash background color so you can see we're going to give some background color for that so let's go to within the font group and go to where we have the full color let's select some ash and then let's okay so this is okay for now we've been able to finish the first part of our soul the next thing we're going to do is to also have merge this column for the monthly income and then also match another three columns. So you see three columns for the monthly income and then three for what the monthly expenditure. So we're going to do that. Let's select this and then go to match center and then select this as well. And I also go to watch match center. So we have this match together uh, as we want. So, and I'm going to type monthly income and then also type monthly expenditure over here. So let's just go ahead and then do that. So monthly, so this is going to be monthly income and then we're going to have what's monthly expenditure so i'm doing everything step by step so they can follow so now that we have this let's also use the same process alignment let's go to center align at the bottom uh, middle align at the same time and let's make the size somewhere around 18 and then give a background color for this for this income i just want to use something green color something deeper for you to see and then I'll make my fonts bold and then center line. It's already center as you can see. And my font is going to be bold and then 
text color is going to white so i'm just going to change this to white and i'm going to do the same thing for my monthly expenditure so there's going to be center and then we do our line the font size we use 14 right and then we use yeah let's use 18 okay 18 bolding it and then this is going to be what the color is going to be red because this expenditure we are assuming something is running out of our account okay so let's change this to white and that part of our design has been sorted out so we're going to create the next but before we do that let's select the entire source where we are working let's select everything to up to this stage and then we'll go to within the phone group let's use the border we're going to apply or going to select all borders so you can see my mouse movement we're going to select all borders and then that is good so what we're going to do next is to give some light green color and then some light red for the monthly income and then the monthly expenditure respectively so i'm going to select this part and then i'm going to i'm going to the full color and then select some light green for this part there's a light green and also some light red for this part okay so that is it and then we're going to select the rest of so where we are going to have the amount let's a bit let's try and then Deepen that as well. So I'm going to go here and then let me put in a deep green color. Then over here, let me put in a deep red color as well. Okay, so I believe we are taking the format and we are creating something similar. So we're going to have our dates, income details, and amount, dates, expenditure details, and amount, as you can see. So let's have our dates first. Then we're going to have what income details here and we're going to have the amount over here and we're also going to have date again we're going to have expenditure expenditure details and then we're going to have amount over here so as you can see i've made this one a bit deep and then bolding them out so we're actually going to do the same thing let's select everything together you center and then middle align at the same time. Let's put a font size around 14, bolding it, and that is okay. I think the expenditure column is a bit close, and then we can see the full text. So let's just select that column and then drag it out, and then we have everything showing up. So I believe we are taking shape. Remember to subscribe if you've not subscribed to this channel, and also hit the like button if you are watching this video and allow others to also see this so once you hit the like button you make youtube expose this video to a lot of people and it's really going to help my channel a lot i'm having so many amazing things coming up so let's continue and then let's put in some few information i'm going to show you how easily we can put in the data and then we don't have to spend so much time typing everything step by step so let's look at how we can do that so let's just put in first january so let's just do that with 21 and i think let me just increase the font size to around four and then i'm going to click this and drop to this stage and it's going to give me the rest of the month where i'm reading up to so i'm going to get second year in that order and i'm going to center and then also middle aligned and i believe the font is okay we're just going to do the same for this side as well okay january and 21 I think let's increase the font size to 14 center and middle align and we just drag this down up to this stage i left the last page or i left the last stuff because i'm going to make this and then i'm going to put our total over that so you can see how the total are this particular column so within our part let's just select this merge we go to merge center and then we can give our total over here okay let's do that and equally we'll do the same let's make center and then we can also put a total over here and then i'll select everything again and let me select out to the stage center and middle align holding this put the font size around 16. okay so for now i believe everything is set and then we can start putting in our records and we'll see how to go about this Remember to subscribe as I said and then don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get alerts anytime we upload a new video.
So I'm going to start with my incomes, okay, income details. Let's say the amount that came in, okay, the amount that I received during the months, okay. So let's say first January, my salary, let's say, this basically could be anything. So I'm just going to create this sample at least to guide you. Money that you receive or money that come into your accounts in the month, you can easily track them. So let's say we have salary. Let's say, okay, so this one, let me just type everything in cap salary. Let's say we have some wages as well. Let's say we have some bonus. I don't know where the bonus will come from, but let's say we have bonus. Let's say you make some sales as well. So let's say this is the expenses we have. Okay, so last, let's just put something like all this. Let's put some all this over there. Maybe there are other money that come that you can also quantify this money. So let's say that is what we have. So salary, let's just say. So let's give some figure. Let's say we have two thousand five hundred as two thousand five hundred as salary. Okay, two thousand five hundred as salary wages. Let's say we have some five hundred and bonuses. Let's say we have some three fifty. Sales, some sales. We have some four fifty from sales and then orders. Let's say that is two fifty. So that's all you had in the month. And let's also try to increase the phone size to around fourteen and. Probably let me just enter line this one as well so that everything can be visible to the readers. So let's come to our expenditure now and expenditure basically everyone is having more to spend than what you have to see. So let's say we have spent some on light bill, spend something on water bill. You let me also say you have some you have to do some refilling of gas some free flame of gas you spend a lot on internet and what again let's say food transportation so there's a lot we have to spend on in a month see we have transportation we have to pay fares and all that transportation okay i believe my spelling is right and also education you have to pay for your kids school fees and all that and there's still going to be a lot you're going to spend on so you can update that so let's just put all this over there and now we are good to go so let's say your whatsapp bill is saying like let's say 70 okay so let's select this column let's put center in the middle of the line let's put our phone size to around 14 14 and you spend what have you spend like let's say some 60 and gas you did some refilling 90 cities and internet let's say you spend 45 cities on internet food then it's going to buy let's say 300 and transportation you spend 120 education let's say education you spend some 500 and all this let's put it around 600 then this is red if this is not visible you prefer to use white so you can see this well you can easily go ahead and then do that so now that we have all these figures ready for us we can go ahead and get a total for our income and a total for our expenditure then we can come down here and then also we can just make these two so let's say we have a balance left so we can put that down here which is going to be our income minus our expenditure so we're going to just select these two cells put it around eight in the phone size center and middle line and then maybe i have to give some background color yeah and put something like this then I will just apply some other effect to this. So basically, let's get our total now. So we can use the auto sum over here to get our total. So we can just drag from the top to our total and then use the auto sum. And it's giving us our total as you can see. So we had about 4,050 as our income for the month. And when we drag from the top to the bottom as well and use the auto sum. We are getting our expenditure okay so get us do that for our expenditure okay so that is it so now we can go ahead and then also get our balance what is left after we after our expenses okay so this could be anything everyone's expenses for the expenditure for the month varies so it depends somebody after the expenditure you have a negative figure <laughs> which is not surprising as you can see how hard things are especially a lot to take care of definitely it's going to be something small left for you or even a negative so let's go ahead and get our total now so it's going to be some 
So it's going to be basically what is going to be left. So you can just go ahead and say sum. So this is going to be our income minus our what expenditure. Okay. So when I hit enter, it's going to give us what is left. So we have two thousand two hundred and sixty-five left. So basically, this is how to do a very simple and income expenditure tracker using Excel. So if I go ahead, let's say I forgot something that have. On the 9th January, I went to the gym and then I just put in that update over there. And then let's see the gym, I spent 100 cities. And I hit enter, I see basically when I update the expenditure total for us, and then our balance is also going to be updated accordingly. So basically, this is how to create an expenditure tracker using Excel. Remember to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of the updates or any of the videos will be uploaded. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of video coming coming up on this channel. It's going to be Excel, Word, PowerPoint, graphic designing, video editing, data analysis. We're going to learn Python programming, JavaScript, React, React Native, mobile app development, C Sharp, and the rest. So you don't need to miss all those videos. You need to subscribe and stay alert as I bring you more videos. Thank you so much for enjoying this tutorial. By the way, I'm going to leave this file at the comment section and then you can download this and then also work. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.